my name's Lauren, I'm from New Brunswick, and today I'm getting punished. So yesterday, Christine sentenced me to my punishment. I have to eat a non-breakfast or dessert food with maple syrup on top of it. The food I chose is peppers. I think it's a pretty safe choice, and I'm going to complete the challenge while discussing the other things I'm supposed to discuss today. So last week, Jay-Z asked the question, what did we want to get out of TransCanada Vloggers? And I guess I started this channel because I just wanted some new Nerdfighter friends, and so far that's working out. Gonna give it a try now. I have a feeling the red peppers are gonna taste better, so I'm gonna try those first. It's not so bad. It's like you taste the maple syrup at first, and then when you bite into it, it's just pepper. The flavors don't really mix at all, so it, it's not that bad of a combination. Kind of just tastes like what you think it would taste like. So the other thing we're supposed to talk about this week is school. And I just moved back to Ontario for school. It's going pretty well so far, and by some miracle, I have Tuesdays with no class. Which is amazing. Okay, so I'm gonna try one of the green peppers now. This may be slightly worse. I actually think the green pepper is better because it has green pepper has like no flavor to it at all, so it's just like eating maple syrup kind of crunchy. It just gets worse, I think. At first it was okay, but now it's just gross. This maple syrup isn't particularly good. which I think is making this harder. I actually don't eat maple syrup that often. I usually eat like the Aunt Jemima's syrup. So this is, mm. Ugh. It's getting gross, it's really gross. So I propose we institute some new punishable offenses. The first one is that now that I'm in Ontario, I definitely want to meet Sarah before the term's over. So I suggest that, Sarah, if you and I don't meet by the end of the term, both of us will get punished. I think another rule should be that if you ever meet someone who is cool or famous, you have to get them to say hi to us. And on that note... Hi to the Trans Canada Vloggers! What? <laughs> so I hope that all of you recognize those people. Mika Kitty and Nanalu. Well, one of the amazing things about being an hour away from Toronto is that I can go to awesome YouTube events, even when they're planned like 24 hours ahead of time. So I went to the Nana Kitty pre show on Saturday, and it was freaking amazing, and I got to meet them. Christine, you know, at first when you assigned me this punishment, I laughed a little because I thought that's going to be incredibly easy. It's not so funny now. <laughs> it's four pieces. I shouldn't have got so many. I got so many pieces of pepper. I thought I'd just be laughing through this. It's not good. Not at all. Ugh. That piece had a weird, like, garlicky taste to it. Like, they used a knife that they just cut garlic with to, um, cut the peppers. Blech. It's really not good. It's five. You know, I'm gonna eat the whole damn bowl. If John can eat a blenderized Happy Meal, I can eat peppers covered in maple syrup. I 
I figured out the best way to do this. It's to let most of the syrup drain off of it before you eat it. Two more to go. I think the last two are going to be the worst though. Because they've been sitting in the maple syrup. Ugh. I feel really sick. Christine, this punishment is definitely crueler than you thought it was. Okay, last piece. All done. Oh, that was really, really terrible. I would not recommend that to anyone. Ugh. Okay. Well, I gotta go wash the maple syrup off of me and get to bed because I'm getting up early tomorrow to go hunt for a great copy of Fault in Our Stars. JC, I'll see you tomorrow also being punished, hopefully. Bye. Hi to the Trans Canada Bloggers Canada. Hi to the Trans Canada Bloggers.